Welcome to Bath Talks with Jim Bruce. Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Bath Talks. Uh, I don't talk about politics a lot. I, I don't like to argue with people, and obviously I have my opinion, you have your opinion, uh, but I do talk about politics sometimes. And my objective is always to be reasonable, it's always to try to listen to you, and I don't always succeed, but that's at least my objective, and I presume that that's your objective too, even if you and I disagree fundamentally. Conservative, liberal, whatever we are, hopefully both of us have the objective of just talking to each other and listening to each other, as difficult as that is. But one subject that seems to me that nobody can talk to each other in a reasonable way is gun control. It doesn't seem to me that we ever converse with each other in a way that suggests that anyone's listening or that anybody actually respects the other person, which is probably why we have such discord in this country around that very volatile topic. So I thought that maybe what I would do today is lay out the case for both sides of the argument in a way that's reasonable and respectful and that maybe that would be the groundwork for understanding where each other comes from. Uh, so I think, can we all agree that it would be better if we started from a position of respect rather than a position, position of animus. So that's what I'm going to do today, is I'm going to try to lay out the case for both people who are pro-gun control and those people who don't want any gun control at all because they see it as a fundamental infringement of their rights as Americans to even have the hint of gun control. So um, here's how I understand it. Those people who want some reasonable amount of gun control, what they say is they say that, look, the words well-regulated appear right there a well-regulated militia. So clearly the Founding Fathers intended for there to be some regulations, some limitations on how and where and when you could use weapons. And maybe we could have thoughtful, intelligent legislation that wouldn't step over the bounds of hunters, that wouldn't step over the bounds of home protection, but that would maybe afford us an opportunity to lessen the amount of gun violence in the United States. So that's what I think the position is for those people who think that we could have some reasonable gun control. Now on the other hand though you have people in the NRA who I think are very thoughtful people and their position seems to be ah, I like guns! Guns go boom! Boom 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 boom! No gun control! And that's a very reasonable point of view too. I think really well thought out. Um, Anytime there is some violence that happens, like there's a shooting in a school or a shooting in a nightclub, the people who are pro-gun um, control often argue, well, maybe we could put limits on the kinds of guns that we have, because obviously not every gun is for hunting, and not every gun is necessary for home protection. Uh, maybe we could just kind of limit the types of guns. and wouldn't necessarily infringe on anybody's rights, really, because our Founding Fathers didn't envision the wide array of weapons that we have today. I mean, they had muskets, for goodness sake. Um, and I think that that's a really reasonable point. But uh, people on the NRA side, they rightfully say, ah, my, my penis is small! I need a gun! I need a gun! Please, please don't take away my gun! I'm scared! We had a black president and that scared me! And that's a good point. I think that they made a really good point when they said that. And then, of course, people who uh, want some uh, reasonable gun control often will say, um, well, at the very least, couldn't we be careful about who we sell guns to, like open gun shows where you don't know what the history of the person is who bought the gun, where people don't even need a license. You need a license to drive a car and... Uh, you need a license for so many other things. Shouldn't you, at the very least, need to take a class? Maybe that's reasonable. But as the NRA rightfully points out, ah, you're a communist! Bah. So I hope today I've laid out the two very reasonable positions and you can analyze who's right and who's wrong on your own. I'm going to enjoy my bath.
Bath Talks is a Jim Bruce production. Bubbles provided by Amori Arce. If you enjoyed Bath Talks, click subscribe.